What's your name again? Carol. Carol Potts. Yeah. Is it? Are you sure? Up and she's on. Gales win it. Lewis Coleman. Loses it, gets it back, feeds it back inside, but this time it's intercepted. The man that intercepts it is number nine, the captain, Sean Riley. Back up it comes. Farnham have it. Shane Fortune. Still Shane Fortune. Send her downfield. In it goes. Ball broke, pushing the back. Free out, Virginia. Virginia to the natives. Ball won, ball lost, back out it comes. Shane Fortune has it, tucks inside, sends it down high and right, close to the line. Well won inside there by Ryan Smith. Inside it comes, dangerous ball. Back come Virginia defender there, we'll let you know who he is in a second. He toes the hand, gets the touch in, but he wins his free. I think he might be wearing number seven, not the biggest, but certainly James, James Connell is the name. Ball cleared downfield. Cross all heads. Foot race is on. Well won inside there by Sean Riley. Sean Riley sends her in left foot. Up it comes. Ball breaking out. Ball's going to break kindly for James Veal. James has it. James loses it. James gets it back. James is blocked down, but his ball feeds through to his number six, Paul Sexton. Nice pick up by Sexton, jabs it forward, but it's out across the line. Going back to take it from the right place is Ben Nagel. Bit of clear blood there, I'd say, with a name like that. Down Kilfenora country, not quite sure. A ball breaker back in, man that has it, James Veal. Veal feeds it outside to Lewis Coleman. Coleman has it, he's dispossessed. Well picked up there, but lost again. Veal coming again. Here comes Farnham. Ross Riley, left footed kick inside. Keeper coming out. Leaving it for his full back. Full back. Good clearance downfield. Downfield it comes. Back to Ross Riley. Ross is fouled out on the left side. This time the taker will be the number 14, Adam Johnson. He floats her in, in around the house of goals. Ball in, ball coming away here. Cleared on the left leg, Virginia clear her downfield. Getting it hard to come to grips this game early in the early going. And it would be a nudge in the back and a free kick. Man that was fouled was Veals. Inside it comes, ball off the hands. Johnson is there. Adam has it, wins it. Still has it. Uh, throws it out across the top, out to his little number 10, Keenan Donoghue. I presume he's a first cousin of Fierker who played for Larry. He has his kick blocked down. Ben Nagel. Kicking on the left foot, gets the toe, wins the free. Teams as follows. Virginia, Lee Burdis in nets. Niall Farley, the captain. He wears two, Connor Smart wears three, and Matthew McGee wears four. We'll come back to that team now. We have still Virginia with it. Man that has it, the number 11, Kieran Daly. Inside it goes, and it's going to go all the way out to the left and wide. Possibly Kieran Daly, if I'm correct, may have buried his grandfather this week. Tony. Now, Shane Queeley wears five, Ben Nagel wears six, James Connell in the middle of the park, he's partnered by Killian Maguire at eight. Sean Riley, the captain, wears nine, Stephen Gargan wears ten, Kieran, Kieran Daly wears uh, eleven, Lawrence Caffrey wears twelve, thirteen, Daniel Rock, and the inside men, Emmett Maguire wears fourteen, and Liam Brady on fifteen. Back down field. Fed across. Free out, man that's fouled his Nagel. Packy Smith says you got to go back. Well won inside there. Caffrey sends it in. 1 2 is played. Inside it's walked inside to Killian Maguire. Maguire feeds it in. Riley has it. 
Still Riley, well saved by the keeper, getting a hand of it. Keane Hughes, free out, Farnham, but good work by Keane Hughes. He wears one, Shane Fortune wears two, John Nolte wears three, Luke Fortune wears four, James Veal wears five, Paul Sexton six. The midfield partnership is Louis Coleman at seven and Gavin Sherlock at eight. Nine is Ross O'Reilly, ten Keenan Donahue, eleven Shane McDermott, twelve Ryan Smith, fourteen Adam Johnson. This time it's Lewis Coleman, sends it inside to Ross Riley, jabs ball in, good bit of defending there, and that was important, it's the first score by Keenan Donoghue, but certainly getting a hand in there was Niall Farley, and it was a very important hand to get in, because it was a man in behind him, and not only the keeper to beat. Farley, taking a look at the options, he goes long and left, outside he goes, gets it upside, Shane Queeley, ball partially blocked down, Farley coming on the attack. Free kick is given, far and free. Man that was fouled, Luke Fortune. Luke Fortune floating her in around the house. Niall Farley is there, Niall Farley leaves it for his fellow defender. I think it may be Connor Smart. He clears it out right side, close to the line. Very close to the line, line ball, Farnham. Harley Riley says it's going to be a line ball, Farnham. Taker will be. Sherlock goes far side to Coleman. Still Coleman on the right foot, sending her high, sending her right, sending her wide. He of course would have been a winner here with Farnham in the past, with Lewis Coleman. Now it's Niall Farley once again. I don't exactly know what's going on, a bit of confusion has he to go back in closer to the goals, Packy Smith says. Farley comes out the middle, Johnson's up, Johnson catches, and he catches clean, good fetch. Been shadowed there by Nagel, getting his kick in, clearance comes downfield. Burgess does well, good clearance back out. Close to the line, one inside there now by Sexton. Sexton trying to keep it in play, does so. Free out, man that's fouled, Sean Riley. Niall Farley will be the taker. Just didn't catch fire this game yet, one point to no score. Farley, kick, good kick down along the line. Ball breaks between Sexton and the number 10. Stephen Gargan. Ball back in across the top, but it comes back. Falls nicely for the Virginia men. Sean Riley sells the shimmy, sends it in on the right foot after solo on the left, in across the top the ball comes and it's pulled on there by Shane Fortune back down it comes, comes down to the little number 11 and that man there is Shane McDermott he getting it upside and it's a nice little play and it's in here to Keenan Donoghue, Keenan Donoghue sending her in it's going to all the way out to the right this time however and wide he was fed inside there by Luke Fortune Burdus sending her out, good drive out the field, but only as far as Lewis Coleman. Lewis Coleman is fouled, wins is free. Opportunity now for Louis to take it himself. Takes a look, sends her high. We're waiting on it. No, it's gone out to the left and wide, so says our umpire. Lee Burdus again looking out towards Tada Quealy, I think it is, for some direction. Good kick again, ball sent out, small man, big kick. Ball drops outside, Field has it. James sending her back in, back in around the house. A vital touch there, that was certainly a vital touch by Shane Queeley, and maybe a 45, I think it is, but certainly Shane Queeley got a touch on that one, and it was an important one to get because there was a man lurking in behind him. Would it be Coleman to take it? It appears as if it was. He 
takes a look. Umpires or the linesman is in there. Tell them exactly where this 45 will have to be taken. It can be taken, of course. In coming the Munster out of the hand. Swings are high, swings are right, and swings are wide. So, just didn't find the target yet at Louis, but no doubt he will before game's end. Miho Maguire, of course, one of the mentors. He's out on this side of the field. Queenie on the far side. We have Eugene Riley operating for Farnham, accompanied by Bernard Donahue. Two men who have won senior championships in the past with their clubs. In ball comes. Farnham have it. Man that has it is Coleman. Coleman going down, gets the advantage off the referee, but he sends her inside. A good piece of work inside by the Ralmer defender, rather than Mary's defence. Ball cleared downfield. Ball over the line, though. And again, we have more balls crossing the line than one would normally expect. Was it partially blocked down? It was partially blocked down, I believe. Holly Riley says that there was a Farnham hand got to that, and it is a Virginia ball. The taker on this occasion will be Sean Riley. His side trail, one point to no score. Hits it on the left foot, spins awkwardly off the left foot and out across the hands of Kieran Daly. Drops nicely for Luke Fortune. Fortune has it. Fortune is dispossessed by Daly. Fortune in turn comes back then to try to dispossess. Shane Fortune back in there now. Shane Fortune has it. Shane Fortune loses it. In across the top. Brady is in across the top. Can he get to it? Unable to do so, the man that came back there and averted all danger so far, John Nulty, did well. It is a 45, but Nulty did well. Opportunity now, who will be the taker? Is it going to be? I would imagine it will be Sean Riley, if that's in fact who it is going to be. Slightly awkward for a left-footed kicker, but he has shown us that he can kick on both feet, and that's exactly what he's going to do. He looks to be lining this one up on the, on the right leg. Has an opportunity to go short, that's exactly what he does. Gives it inside, kicked high and pulled out to the right and wide. Not exactly sure who was the kicker of that one. I believe it was number 15 and that man would be Liam Brady. Ball kicked downfield. Blocked on inside, Shane Fortune is back, but eventually it comes inside. Man that takes a knock there for the Virginia lads, he's up and he's okay, but he was dispossessed, that player. It was Daniel Rock, but here come Coleman, I believe it was, in across the top, and Adam Jansen has a tremendous chance of a goal. That's exactly where he puts it. Coleman did well, he threw it in across the top. And from a breakdown, at the other end, Farnham launched the attack. Just like Balinia in the last game, Sean Riding wins the kick out for Virginia. Has it, drop kick, old style, up it comes. Ball kicked out, it's going to be a line ball, it's going to be a line ball to Virginia. They trail by four, Daniel Rook still holding the face. And now it'll be Sean Riley this time, not sure which leg it's going to be on. Left leg it appears, sending her in, floating her into the danger area. Hand on it, Fortune Shane sends her out for a 45. This one will be pretty much dead straight. Sometimes the more difficult ones, the ones to kick dead straight in front of the goal. Riley floats her in, going to stay out left it looks like, that's exactly what it does, stays out left and wide, opportunity goes, a, a, a wash there and an opportunity now for Kane Hughes, Hughes, made a one very good save so far, that clearance a little low, comes to Virginia, sent in across the top, but Hughes feels it with great confidence, sending it back inside, here come Farnham, Veal has it, dispossessed, gets it back, Still James Veal, sends it high, sends it down, right side of the field. Down it goes, close Keelan Donahue country, but the man that has it, I believe, is Ben Nagel. He has his pocket picked. Here they come. Good piece of skill by Donahue. Throws it in across the top.
Out it comes, free out. I believe the man that threw that in across the top was Ross O'Reilly. He did very well there in getting that ball in across the top. In towards Keenan Donoghue. Ball coming downfield. Down it comes to Daly. Daly feeding it back inside. Inside it comes. Not able to hold on to that one inside where, but it comes to Louis Coleman. He goes fast out of the field, fine, picks out a nice pass. Quick hand pass there to Luke Fortune from Ross O'Reilly. Still Luke Fortune showing good skill. Nice tight solo run in across the top to Keenan Dunahoo, but good skill on the other end from James Connell. He's dispossessed, however, and it comes ends up back inside, partially blocked down. And it's again that kick that was blocked down was the kick of Shane McDermott. But once again, it's back inside, kicked in on the left foot. And it's kicked in and kicked high and kicked over the bar. Ross O'Reilly, two points, plays. One goal and two points, plays. No score. Lee Bird is kick out. Out it comes. Ball comes in across the top. Drops inside. Sent up field by Killian Maguire. Daly has it. Daly's kick partially blocked down. Here comes Coleman. Coleman still has it, using the hop to his advantage. Another ball in towards Johnson. Drops down, comes inside Keenan Donahue. His kick is blocked down. He's still there to win it back, back inside, but good work been done in there by a couple of defenders. Notably, James Connell gets it out across the line. Line ball, Farnham. Johnson will be the taker. Sending her in, but pulls her left and pulls her wide. On the clock we have 16 minutes almost, just about. Virginia still to get on the scoreboard here. Burdus looks at the options, goes out right side. Maguire up so too there, come off the hand of number eight, Gavin Sherlock. He's close to the line. Well won and kept in there by man that was fouled. That man was Stephen Gargan. Niall Farley will be the taker here. Looking for options. Going long and getting her inside. Sean O'Reilly has it. Still Sean O'Reilly turns. Is tugged. Wins is free. Kicks it in right foot. In across the top. Keen Hughes getting to it. He elects to leave it for Shane Fortune. Still Shane Fortune. Still Shane Fortune, Shane Fortune still with the ball. Crossing into Virginia country, and he's still going. Going to meet him with a the shoulder there, Killian Maguire, ball kicked back inside. Ball breaking off the hands and picked up. Ray Ross O'Reilly, left footed kick, but off down. Still Ross O'Reilly, still Ross O'Reilly. Ross O'Reilly still has it on that trusty left foot, and he sends her in, and he sends her just out to the left. And why did it kept in play? No, the umpires both say the ball had gone out. Adam Johnson did a valiant job trying to keep it in play. But is it going to be a free kick? Was Ross O'Reilly fouled? Is it going to be a free? It looks as if it may be a free in to Louis Donahue and Farnham. Is that what Packy is saying? Not quite sure. No, no. He's saying play on, lads. Ball went left and went wide. Lee Borders, out they come. Off the hand of Ross O'Reilly comes for Sean Mc or rather Sean Riley. Sean Riley has it. Sean Riley kicking a hit on the left leg. In there towards but for, for Shane Fortune is sweeping up everything there with ball kicked in towards Lance Caffrey. But Shane Riley certainly or Shane Fortune doing very well in there as a sweeper, as is his cousin Luke. Luke will be the man who will take the line ball. Is he going to leave it for James Veal? Not so. Luke still looking at the options. Gwent shot up towards Ross O'Reilly. Ross O'Reilly unable to get into the breadbasket. Touched it on the ground. Free kick. Free kick will be to Virginia. Down into the corner it goes, but again Fortune's out front and centre. This time it comes up now towards Sean Riley. Sean has it, taking a look, left footed kick in across the top. Feeds there. It's going to go in across the top, it's going to be kicked in, and now it's going to be well cleared out. 4.45, good work again by the Farnham School. Ball was in across the top, there was clear and certain danger. Just like the film says, and the man that cleared it out was Paul Sexton. Went for safety, and this time are we going to have the same kicker? Yes, no, it's going to be... I believe Killian Maguire. Floats are in, floats are high, floats are over the bar. Killian Maguire scores, first score for Virginia. It's five against one, four point game, that's my count. 
Getting close to the half here. And well, I think it's 20 minute halves. Not quite sure on that either. Packy Smith taking a look there. Telling Keen Hughes how far he can come out. Hughes is out. Hughes takes it. Goes down the pipe with this one. Down the pipe it goes. Ball up. Ball breaks. Well won inside and well blocked. Subsequently, another good block. Back to back blocks. One player blocking the other. Some tremendous skills. The drop tick is taken inside by Maguire. Maguire sending her into Sean Riley. Still Sean Riley trying to round Coleman. Still Sean Riley getting under the left foot. Dropped in around the house. Ball broken inside and again is Sean Fortune Shane Fortune coming away and sending her downfield first time Virginia on the attack however once more back in across the top it comes ball breaks full back there John Nolte he gets it he's dispossessed kicked back inside and is kicked over the bar man that kicks it over the bar on this occasion is Liam Brady Key and Hughes is back out. Now it's a four-point game. Has now suddenly become a two-point game. Well, there are five points to two. It's a three-point game. Hughes, kick out. Comes out high. Drops out. Going to drop outside for Virginia again. Killian Maguire will be forced to it. Torn it up. Been shadowed in there. Getting his ball inside towards Brady. The point score comes off the hands, but not the hands of James Veal. Veal has it. And half time whistle goes. I make it 1 2, please. Uh, two points. Five points to two. Three point game. second half in it comes Johnson has it still Johnson says the shimmy just judging by the body language he looks like he might be a brother of Ryan Johnson I could be wrong but certainly they have the same style gets it out does well to pull that up here comes Coleman Coleman has it Coleman close to the line flag is up line ball Virginia puts it down sign of good discipline walks away Niall Farley the kicker Down the field they come, through the hands. Still coming back in for Farnham. This one is going to be out across the line. The man that hits that one out there was Gavin Sherlock. Niall Farley will be once again the kicker. Goes down the near flank. Ball up, two men collide. Possibly two men from the same side. It's, it is indeed the man that took a heavy knock that time. In fairness, Liam Brady. Kick will be taken by Veals. Veal send it inside. Keenan Donahue. Still Keenan Donahue. Had the jersey tugged there by Nagan and an opportunity here, possibly a left footers kick. But I do see maybe is it going to be Ross Riley or is it going to be Lewis Coleman? Louis this time will be the taker. Sends her in, but he tugs this one far left, out to the left and wide. <laughs> Opportunity now, Bordas building from the back. Two late points there in the, in the half. One to get Virginia off the mark, pushing the back. Ross already penalised, therefore just a slight nudge on the back of Shane Queeley. Farley will be the taker. Goes down right flank. Ball in. Ball bobbing on the ground there. Played back to Farley. Farley is blocked down. Good walk in there by Johnson. In around the house. 
Bordas does well, taps it down, clears it out right side. Out comes out, Sherlock has it. Been shadowed by Maguire, Sherlock gets his kick in out to the left. Van Wyde, he had a couple of players inside there, Donahue and Riley inside, but he elected to go for the shot. Snatched at it, left foot, left side wide. Bordas with the kick. Out the middle to come, Ross Riley gets the hands to it. But it's Virginia who clear it downfield. That man is Shane Queeley. Down it comes. Once again, it's Veal is coming down the centre. Having a very strong game as Veal's there playing at centre half back. Wearing five. He's foul. Wins his free. Opportunity. Going to be the taker himself, I do believe. No, he's going to leave it for Keenan Donahue. Keenan Donahue might be a little bit far out, but I would imagine he may go short. He can go left foot, he can go right foot. Taps it on the toe, takes the luck. Steals the couple of yards, inside it goes. Well stopped by the keeper, Johnson inside. I think that kick may be been retaken, Packy Riley. Uh, Packy Smith rather, I think, might have thought that uh, Keenan stole maybe too many yards and maybe he's going to make him retake it. It's exactly what it's going to be. Gone looking there was Luke Fortune making the run, didn't come. Donahue taking a look again, Donahue sending her in, outside of the right boot. In it comes, off the hands of Farley and Johnson. Inside it comes, Maguire forced to bend the back, has it, takes a look, sends it right along the carpet. Out it comes, trying to gather it there. There's number seven, James Connell, James Connell foul free out Virginia, far side of the field. Take her Niall Farley. Up it comes, well fielded by Sean Riley. Well dispossessed then by the Farnham lads, the man that dispossessed them was Coleman. Coleman takes the ball out through thr trouble, showing the bit of power, still Coleman. He goes up far side, in across the top, a great attempt, inside, chance on. Ball kicked in, 45. Good kick, good save, everyone in fairness there. Man, the kick there was Ryan Smith, but everyone did their jobs well there. Ball kicked in, great across the top, that's how they got their first goal. A pass in across the top from Louis Coleman this time. It went back in across the top, came to Ryan Smith, took the right option, and the keeper got down well to save. Keenan Donahue will be the taker. Good drive of a ball, small man, takes the kick, sends her in high. And it's over the bar, good score. Backward little player, himself and Ross Riley causing problems in there on that half line. Borders with the kick, Packy with the head down, but not expecting the ball to come that close to him. Ball out, men up, comes off the hands. Farley has it, bends the back, been tackled well by Johnson, been fouled though, says referee Packy Smith, opportunity. Farley going far side, long, it goes through, inside it goes across the top. Comes off the hands, drops nicely for Daly. Daly has it. Took on a look at the options. I believe that was Kieran Daly. Quick one is taken inside. Lawrence Caffrey. He plays it back outside to Sean Riley. Sean Riley left footed kick. Inside it comes. Ball bobbles in dangerously. Just comes off Kean Hughes. There was a forward look and there. A little bit lucky there. Perhaps the man who was looking in there in the corner was Daniel Roke. And it's going to be a 45. And will it be Maguire? It will be Maguire Killian. He will be the taker. Not going to go short. He kicked one in the first half. Can he match that? Sends her in high. Sends her in straight. Sends her over the bar. Good score. Back to a three-point game. 1-3 plays three. On the clock we have seven and change. Just got on for eight minutes in this game. 20-minute half. Keen Keen Hughes been told he can come out a little further with this one. That's exactly what he does. Was confident in the first half in his handling and his kicking. Ball kicked back inside. Farnham have it. Farnham player is foul. Beals wants it. Not getting it. Coleman goes up towards Johnson country. Ball going across the top. Man heading for this one now is Shane McDermott. Shane McDermott but back to pick his pocket that occasion. James Connell clears it downfield but only as far as Sherlock. Sherlock inside. Sherlock rides one challenge. Has it. Gets a foot to it. But it's cleared eventually or rather getting the hand on that one. There was number five.
Shane Queedy, he was fouled, but good work there by the Virginia defence. Farley will be the taker. Farley going far side trying to find his man. Does so. Good kick. Cleared it in there to Liam Brady. He got it down far side to Sean Riley. Sean Riley leaving it behind him, getting it back to being well tackled by Coleman. Losing the ball from Coleman. Line ball, line ball far on him. That was good tackling by Coleman. And in because off this one is really coming from him. Ball cleared in. Ball coming down. Ross O'Reilly has it, unselfish play into Johnson, still into Johnson, touched on the ground, free coming out, coming out for genius, oh good tackling there on both sides, Farley with the kick, going long, up they come, ball hopping off two men, Sherlock didn't know much about it, but it nice landed nicely for him, now it's coming to Keenan, Keenan Dunno, Keenan Dunno has it, been forced back out the field, still coming through, still coming through, been tugged around the waist, getting advantage, coming to Ross Riley, trying to turn on the left foot. Ball coming in, Bordas takes it off the hands there of his wing back, James Connell. Out it comes, comes off a hand out there, close to the line. Well won in there, but it's going to be a line ball, I would say this time a line ball, Virginia. That's exactly what it is. Niall Farley will be the taker. I'm sure his right leg must be quite tired because he has kicked a lot of balls in this game. Nine and change gone, second half into the final quarter real, realistically of the game ball in across the top Daly has it I have the name wrong I don't believe that was Daly that was Sean Riley inside it comes a rope has it tries to ship it off but it likes to kick it for goal rather weak shot he had a man peeling off his shoulder there he should have got it didn't get it inside it comes Sean Riley looks turns shoots or rather kicks in across the top it comes Kicked in then by number 10 all the way in there. Keeper gets it Hughes. Man that kicked it in was Stephen Gargan. Free coming out. Nudging the back. Louis Coleman, the judge, to have committed the foul. Willoughby Maguire now looking to kick another long range point. I'm sure he's going to have a pop. Rather chilly here. Ball kicked in. Going to go left. Kept in play rather well by the rammer or rather the Virginia player. Can't you see which quite one was? But it was kept in play very well and it's been cleared downfield however by Paul Sexton. He's going downfield. In across the head of Adam Johnson. Johnson did get it and he tried to play it in across the top. Through the hands that it went and back inside there trying to clear the danger. Inside there was Matthew McGee. Still Matthew, Matthew McGee loses it. It gets a great hand in there, still Matthew McGee getting a great hand in. Tackled inside, Matthew McGee back inside, Matthew McGee wins his free, but he certainly got a great hand in there to dispossess Ryan Smith after losing the ball himself. Taker, Nagel, goes far side, looking Maguire country, Coleman breaks it, Coleman breaks it to himself, Coleman turns back inside the traffic, sells a nice shimmy but loses ball in process, Virginia go for man, not ball, lose both, ball going to be a free kick there now, a little bit in discipline, just as the ball was released there by Gavin Sherlock's foul, and an opportunity now to launch another attack, Taker would be keen and done, I would imagine he has a man there peeling off him, Luke Fortune gone running again. That's exactly where he heads for, heads for Fortune. Fortune trying to make a bit of room, still Fortune. Over carrying free out. Farley with the kick, he goes out far side. Liam Brady has it, Liam Brady well blocked down by James Veal. Liam Brady will have a line ball, however. He's going in across the top, gets it inside. Gargan has it. Gargan in on the left foot, gets it to Sean Riley. Sean Riley through the hands and Shane Fortune clears it. That was a vital clearance, but certainly Sean Riley had a man inside. Ball cleared downfield, Keenan Donahue. Good ball, sends it in. Coleman has it. Still Coleman going to meet him. Out there is Nagel. Still Coleman in across the top, not a good ball. Niall Farley has it. Still Niall Farley, this time on the left foot, getting it outside. Well won by Sean Riley, been shadowed by Sherlock. Still Sean Riley, Sean Riley on the left foot, good clearance. Upside it comes across the heads in there, and it's cleared again out by Farnham School. Not that far though, however, and here comes Maguire. Killian has it, still Killian. On the left footed kick, and it's out to the left and wide. That one's going to stay out wide. An opportunity there goes to Began for Virginia. They trail by three on my count. We have on the clock 12 and change. Ball kicked out. Across the top, Sean Riley has it. Johnson's out there to try and thwart the challenge. Johnson does well. Dispossesses ball, comes to Sherlock. Still Sherlock. He's close to the line, very close to the line. Line ball, Virginia. 
Good tackling out there. Ball kept in, and it will be, as I said, a nine ball, Virginia. Taker will be Liam Brady. Don't know if he's a relation to Trapatoni's second in command. Doubt it. Here comes Maguire. Maguire gets the nudge in the back, wins the free. He probably will be the taker. Doesn't really just suit, ideally, a right-footed kicker. Nonetheless, he sends her in, and he sends her high, and he sends her over the bar. Good score from Maguire. Difficult angle for the right-footed kicker. Back to a two-point game. Lots of time left. Hughes with the kick out, going out left side. Brady has it, Brady loses it, Brady there trying to get it back. Still Brady, done well that occasion, Nagel. Nagel shimmies back inside, toe to hand, leaves the ball too far ahead of him, touches on the ground, free coming other way to Farnham. Need a no score now Farnham because Virginia coming more and more into this game. Packy's going to move that arm, is it? Somebody's doing too much giving out. Sherlock has it, no, Packy's back remonstrating with management, I think it is. Of one of the teams, he says he's not going to accept it. Free kick Farnham. Downfield, good ball into the kick, nice trajectory in that pass from Beale, sent down. McDermott has it, McDermott loses it, Niall Farley has it now. This time a good clearance on his left foot, ball up. Riley has it, good ball from Sean Riley, but a good piece of fetching, but out down it comes, drops for Fortune, Shane, Shane has it, Shane being shadowed, man on for Rama, that of Virginia, Virginia School, that man wears 18, his name is Connor Farley. Quick one is taken, now it's Luke Fortune, still Luke Fortune. Luke Fortune sending her in high off the crossbar. Keelan Donahue in it comes. Goal is awarded, is it going to be a goal awarded? I believe it is, no square balls at this grade. Donahue got the final touch, may have been Adam Johnson, not quite sure. Certainly the keeper had done his part, looked as if danger was averted, hopped at the crossbar, down but finished and that might be all she wrote free kick Virginia, they're going to need a goal, maybe two of them here to try and get back in this one, they trail by five, ball going down, down it comes, Shane Fortune there, Shane Fortune has it, still Shane Fortune, gets the shoulder, wins it, blocked down though by Daly, Daly does well, still Daly, tugs it on the in on the left foot, in across the top it comes, here comes the Jack Brady, or Liam Brady rather, Liam Brady has it, Liam Brady is fouled, pulled unceremoniously to the ground there by the full back, not a bad place to give up the free by John Nolte. He's going to give him a little black book for that one, and it's a chance now to be taken by Liam O'Brady. Not a bad attempt sent in, floated high, ball breaking. Man that has it, however, is Sherlock. Sherlock coming out, Sherlock leaving ball behind him. Man that has it now is Sean Riley. He turns, he shoots, and he scores. Four point game. Sherlock had it. Felt maybe that he was fouled, but he was dispossessed nonetheless. Ball cleared back in. Riley tucks it on the left foot. Playing a captain's role, trying to drag his team back into this one. Four-point game on the clock. We have 16 and change. Kean Hughes, out he comes. Good kick, leaves both feet leaving the ground when he kicks it. Great sign of a keeper, means he gets that extra bit of yardage. Just gets the two foot elevated as he releases the ball. Ball back in, kick back inside. Here comes Hughes, takes it on the hop confidently again. Back out it comes, three Rammer Miller, three Virginia players have it. Nice throw out by Maguire, out it comes. Pull back inside, back in there is Veeds. Probably dropped back in there, strong player, for he's come back in to just try and stem the tide. That's exactly what he does. Takes a little bit much out of that one, but nonetheless getting it back inside, in it comes. Well won inside, cleared inside by Ryan Smith, into Adam Johnson. Johnson has it. Still Johnson turns inside, is he going to push it over the bar? He kicks her and he leaves her out, to, it's going to be a 45, partial block down there. I thought maybe he was going to punch that over the bar and it would be an opportunity there. It's going to be a 45 and it's going to be an opportunity now for possibly Keenan Donahue to put this into a four point game. He will be the taker, not the biggest man on the team but certainly a strong strike of the ball, is he losing it for Luke Fortune? No, it's going to be back to Keenan Donahue. Hoppener 
Taking a look. Sending her in high. Farley off the hands. Well blocked down there. The man that was blocked down inside there, Ryan Smith. But it's back inside. Ross Riley trying to get the hands and is shoving it out on Selfishly Keenan Dunham. Blocked down by Daly. Back inside. Ross Riley has it, touches it out. No free in. Ross Riley there was bending it to get that ball, but there was a hand foul trying to stop him from picking it up, and it was touched on the ground and an opportunity. And perhaps Ross Riley should be taking that one on that left foot. But it's going to be taken by Keenan Donahue. And now we know why he took it. He sent it over the bar. Four point game. That might be just the little window there that Farnham needed to win this one. Ball cleared downfield. Maguire has it. Still Maguire. Killian Maguire. Full forward on the under 12 win inside. Inside it comes. But again, it's the rear guard in there doing the job. Maybe not the ideal clearance. I believe the man that cleared that one out was number three, the full back, John Nulty. But it will be ball coming back in from Killian Maguire. Sending her in around the house. Inside, Shane Fortune has it. Shane Fortune has it and takes a look at the options. Toes the hand. Still Fortune. Kicks it on the left foot downfield. Farley getting the foot in. Ball cleared up, but still it's Adam Johnson has it. Johnson fists pass in across the top, across the head of Caden Donahue. Inside it comes to Ross Riley. Still Ross Riley. Ross Riley toes on the left foot, tries to give it to an advancing player, Louis Coleman. Doesn't work out, but eventually ends up with Caden Donahue. He sends it across back inside to Adam Johnson. Johnson trying to turn Nile Farley. Not able to do so on this occasion still. And it's partially blocked down and back in there by McGee. And here come the... Lurgan but back inside an advance here and a chance there sliding in, free out, coming out sliding in there with a two foot of challenge Shane McDermott free out, nothing malicious in it he was just going for ball, nobody injured Niall Farley I would imagine would be the taker and on the clock we have 19 minutes gone this is going to be I believe a victory for Farnham, it's their back to back last year I believe that they also won it or maybe two years ago I do know I remember they did win it Kings got, I think, maybe one Division one last year. I may have my ears backwards. That has happened before. Keenan Donoghue having a good game. Don't know who man of the match will be. I think James Veal's had a very strong game. Man of the match really well, perhaps in something that, in my opinion, but my opinion is only the opinion of one, should not be included in any level of it because it's a team sport. Nonetheless, I don't make the rules. Brain clears it downfield. But certainly there's a few players out there on either side that are in with a legitimate shot at it. Nagel has it. Coleman played well, so too that Veals, as I say, was strong. Shane Fortune has been a great sweeper, coming more into it, had a great first half, and now has a great last seven or eight minutes in this half. Ball cleared downfield. Queenie gets it downfield, has it to Sean Riley. Sean Riley still has it. Inside it goes, in across the top. Once again, full back there, Nolte doing well, clearing it outside, left foot. Killian Maguire in, Killian Maguire foul, no free kick pushing off. Free kick going all the way, good work by Gavin Sherlock. Picked off the ground by Adam Johnson. Niall Farley going to send her in around the house, in it goes. But back inside there is Sexton, Sexton has it, Sexton's foul. Sexton's going to win the free, free out, this should be bringing us to a close. Four point victory, I would say how this one is going to end up. the field they go, man that has it there is the little number 7, James Connell getting it downfield trying to get it inside, Maguire there trying to fight hard for this one well won inside there, and it comes out to Luke Fortune, Fortune has the pocket picked and it's sent back inside, here's an opportunity now, a last gap one for the Virginia lads, the man that has it is the substitute on he sends her over the bar, they need a goal now to try and get back level the man that kicked that one in was their number 18, the number 18, and that man is Conor Farrelly. Cian Hughes will be coming out quite a ways. Is there going to be one more attack in this one? That's what there is. Out they come. Ball is up. Game is over. Farnham win by three.
Virginia. for 